Hi, and welcome to my Arch Labs system. We are on R2D2. We've made some changes, conkeys, wallpapers, you know. It's a very customizable system. And I've just read an article on Google Plus that the Debian 9 is out. So I'm going to test Debian 9. We have VirtualBox installed. There is this template, which is an empty template, which has been set to use the memory in some way, uh, CPU cores, and so on. So I'm going to call it Debian 9. I'm going to test it. So first I make a clone. So it's just an empty template without anything inside, even without a hard disk. Well, it's a hard disk, but it's empty. Then I'm going to choose my image, which is in the downloads and the Debian 9.1. Boot it. Get rid of this one. And we see a graphical installation, so it's the first time I'm watching this. So it's always interesting to discover other systems. What's called as distro hopping, in this case, is just checking for the Sardi and the Surfing icons if the, everything is still okay with this new image they provide the world free of charge. Okay. Found Ethernet. Nope, not yet, I think. No, IP version 6. Okay, succeeded. It's all good for me. We are on VMware, sorry, on VirtualBox, so I don't care what it's named. Uh huh, okay. Password here, and password again. Nothing surprises here. Full name, name for the user. This is my full name. Username for your account. That's good. And a password. And again a password. Eastern Central. I'm not sure which to take. That's quite... Normally we get in these distros. Um, well, they, they know where we are, where we're situated, and we get our country. But in this case, well, I have to make a guess. Use entire disk is good for me. Continue and continue. Yes, please. Just make it simple. Why make it even more difficult with homes and all that? Write changes. Yes, we have to say to write the changes, otherwise nothing will happen. And there we go, we're installing the base system. Fine. So I went to the website, this is still open. It is still open. Uh, let's go to that as well. Let's move to screen one, my friend. So we have here the website where I found everything. And I just wanted to point out that I was not sure what to download. I think I went in here. Uh, then maybe, I don't know what I did again, probably this one, DVD, that's gray. And here we have three DVDs, so one, two, three. I just downloaded this one, so I'm not sure what this and this is, but lots of software anyway. Um, 8 gigabytes, 8.8, .8, and a lot of software. Reminds me of the days of Suze, where we went to a, a shop and we bought actually Suzu with books and, and uh, three DVDs, all with software included. So, okay, fine. What's this? If you wish to scan, no, no, no. no we don't have another DVD. So, continue. The network mirror is good to extra software that's included on the CD-ROM. So, yes. Why not United States? So good for me. Just here to check my icons. So a lot of decisions to have to make actually. If you used to on Tergles or uh, Linux Mint or even Arch Labs, lots of technical stuff to figure out from what is this. Okay, everything is uh, explained and you should read. Uh, read the fucking manual is is one of the expressions on the net. But it's quite a lot of thing here, configuring popularity context. Nope, 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 not here for 
popularity contest just checking sadly on certain icons but of course they don't know at the moment only the core system is installed to tune the system to your needs you can choose to install one or more yeah i've done that uh, in the past i wanted to check my icons and i just took everything <laughs> That's okay if you want to check Sardi icons or certain icons, but it's not okay if you want to work. You get system settings by one, two, three, four, six system settings, you know. So that's not a good idea. So I have to choose one of those and then start and uh, run the system. I'm gonna try to do it this way anyway because I'm on virtual box, so I don't mind, I don't care. I just want to know. If every application has a certain icon and every application has a certain icon, that's my goal. It's not a working system. So this what I did to. If you skip the hat in the video, don't uh, click everything. Don't uh, install every desktop environment. Not a good idea. GDM3 is a nice block, black one, if I recall. So I'm gonna take that one. So we'll see. I'm wondering, it's still open here. Let's have a look. Where is this war? Sardi, Sardi visited. I did visit Debian some point in time. So the question is, that should be here. Ah, here it is. So Debian Stretch Alpha 8, 8.5 is the last time I installed it. It was even net install that time. That I used. So these are all the distros that I visited. We're at 66, it seems. So today will be 67. All the Debian based stuff, Arch based stuff, Solus, Nixos. I should do this as well. 1603, long time ago. Chaos. Okay. So nice to know that your sadly icons are also checked on other distros even uh, well if you don't see your distro here doesn't mean I didn't I didn't visit it does just mean that I don't have any records for the name of the ISO so I can't really do a copy paste of this name so probably work anyway just depending on uh, desktop environments meaning XFCE is XFCE whether it's on Ubuntu uh, or Linux Mint or anything else those are the same applications maybe it's a good thing now to pause the movie since I'm installing such a lot of software All right okay I just came back let the system do its installation and here it asks do you want group boot or yes install it and that's okay if we take this one sda and that's what he's doing now installing the group and finally we're gonna boot is complete so it's time to boot into your new system sick kill Ta-da! let's have a look Let's hope it finds that the screen can be a little bit bigger. Yes, that's me. Okay. It's always the issue if they, I don't know if we can insert this here. Let's see if that's possible. It's downloaded. Well, let's see if this works. Otherwise, we'll do it like this. Okay, insert. Open auto prompt is always a good thing. Run. Can't find <laughs> how to run program. Okay, what then? Some of these things can be my solution, but it will make my tutorial longer. Okay, so we're booted in Mate, it seems. Let's see if we can find it out. Voila. About Mate. I always say Nate, so probably say Nate if you 
minutes later, but I know it's Mate, but difficult to learn to change anything when it is hardwired in my brain, it is hardwired in my brain. Appearance, customize, here are the things we can change and here are the icons we need to have a look at. So this is what the standard installed, it seems to be breeze dark is available there. Okay, close, close. Mixing all these things probably makes what a lack amount makes it yeah makes a lot of um, non screenshots doubles things like that that are installed by various desktop environments so some of the stuff and probably a lot of stuff in here it's gonna be double three task managers now because of all the desktops so, like I said, it's not the way to do it, it's just for my system here. Let's go to Internet, Firefox ESR, very good that ESR is installed. Anyway, um, oh look, the sun is coming up. I want the Sadi icons, let's see if it finds just, oh damn, I am dirty, that's not good. It's going to make my life a lot more difficult. Sardi is nice to eat, <laughs> but the Sardi icons are not coming out of there, like so. So Sardi icons, that's better. So this is a good link, this is a good link, but I want a download link, and that's this one, SourceForge. We have here a package, tar gz, you can download. Save, do this automatically. Okay, go to here. Come on, probably behind here. And then extract here. Control A, well, Control A was probably Control Quit. Yep, Azerti and Querti. The fun starts. So it downloads. Uh, get everything. Copy your cuts. And then Ctrl H will probably work fine. And then create folder dot. That's not a dot. That's the dot, I think. Icons. Oh, it is already there. My apologies, my dear friend. And then paste. No paste anymore. Paste is gone. Downloads. What's this? Links. Okay, my mistake. Okay, uh, again, a mistake because of this Querti uh, Azerti stuff. But this time I'm gonna be successful. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Control H, where are my icons? Control V, oh, oh, success, come on. So we need the icons to be here or in the user share icons. But anyway, it should be available where it is looking for the icons. And this is the best place. You can delete and do whatever you want. It's your home folder in adult icons because sadly is also an, uh, a way to make you guys aware that you can change anything with the name Colora or Flexible to any color you want. So this is an orange, this is a blue one, blue one, red one, or bluish one. Lime is green, I think. Black is clearly black, but rock, I think it's a little bit with a red accent inside and so on. So these scripts can be run and they are all on SEBI Extra. So they're already and random already. And you can just download them from, I'm not gonna do that, just gonna point you there with my QWERTY. So here are the private trials. I think it's about 104 choices, all of Sadi. So I run the scripts and you get this. So that's the power of Sadi. 
its modularity, its flexibility. Just check the website. They are not just idle words, they are actually things I am explaining. Let's try like this. Okay. There are words I try to explain what it is. What is flexibility? What is modularity? It's the power of Zapier. Use the power. Okay, that's um, almost there. I still have to keep talking. Let's take a look anyway. Maybe we see something already. Look and feel, appearance. Go inside, customize. We can install the art theme as well, art theme Colora, which also on GitHub and so on. But I'm just going to go for this one. Uh -huh. Let's go for one that's obviously uh, useful. Let's take this one. Why this one? Um, I could have taken this one as well, the mono. I want to know if all the icons have uh, an icon from Savvy. That's it. So as you see, these icons are from Savvy. So I know already that's okay. Then I go inside here, say check, check, check. This is a well-known issue, so clip it. I have, uh, there's no, no uh, solution for that, so I give it up. Very simple. Games, that's okay. And graphics. Oh yeah, there is an issue. There is a, a, a way to figure that out, that's true. But it's a manual, manual thing you have to do. So you have to edit the file, and if I remember, we're gonna do that later. As you can see, everything is blue, and that's just my check, you know? I'm gonna, just going to check if every application that's on the general ISO of every uh, release, of every distro, is and has an icon. And if, it's, if it has a blue one, all the rest is in order too. So that's a simple check or the mono, the Savvy mono. If everything is uh, grayish, then I know that everything is checked out. Checks out. So that looks good. Let's go inside here. Everything okay? Other personal administration control center. I always have to press the control center because in here we have also icons. That looks good as well. Help is help. Maybe the logout, Eric. No, cancel. No icons here. Order shut down. No icons here. Let's take a look here some sound things and then the last check so everything is okay I'm, I'm surprised a little bit uh, so fine no work for me always good so we should go to the file system last check is in the user oh going to share and then the icons I see oh that's okay I'm um, sorry my mistake Applications, of course, that's where I want to go. I'm so used to go to the applications. So we scroll down. Don't be bothered with things like that. Sometimes if you open, you can open it with, pop, pop, pop. look at all that. So you can open it with a text editor, depending on the distro you're on. I have all the distros, so I can check. <laughs> but um, some of them do not have an icon, so that's okay. And depending on the icon theme, you get a blank of file or another file just telling you there is no icon present, but uh, then there is no line that says icon is such and such, so it will not work. Anyway, so these are all programs, muffin, muffin and all that is some other, it's all um, display managers and file managers. So that's okay, they don't need this. This is a problem, but that's easily solved. That's also a problem, so I'll show you how to solve it. But um, not an issue from Savvy. Dear software engineers, stop making these hard-coded elements inside these programs. Stop doing this, user share, etc. That's a hard-coded, it has a path in it. We don't need paths. We just need Python 2.7. That's it. So if any of these software engineers hear this, please stop doing that. In the meantime, there is a solution. Let's have a look. We have the GitHub of Eric Lubois. It's still open. 
let's go up here lots of my repositories i have a uh, application i've just uploaded this one yesterday so i'm going to use this it doesn't matter just check get any of these because i want this one hard code fixer version one and all of my uh, githubs have this one um, yeah let's take a git clone see if it's git is installed oh yeah i have to type and qwerty okay let's oh there is no right mouse click terminal control alt -T. Ow. I need a terminal, my guys. Terminal, 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 terminal. No, pop, pop, pop. no, there should be a terminal in access accessories. No, am I missing it? No, and clip it. We forgot to clip it as well. Uh, where are the terminals here? References, hardware. Sorry for losing time here. Blowing. Wait, right mouse click here. No terminal anywhere. No, not inside. Places. There should be a terminal. Come on, find it, Barry. Move your ass. Office system tools, maybe? Yeah, system tool. An external. It's just one. May system, may terminal. Ah, we found it. Sorry. Okay, so Git is Git installed. sudo how do I go? Apt install Git. Is that working? <laughs> Eric is not in a sudoers file. The incident will be reported. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna clone this, download the zip, and then go inside here. Download zip. Okay. Doing it what it's supposed to do. We have this one. Extract here. Now we have this one. Just a need to run this one. Blah, blah, blah. This one. Double clicking. Oh, yeah. Run in terminal. Okay. Git's command not found. So I definitely need to install Git. And Ctrl C is probably somewhere else. No. So we need to run this one, guys. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, run this one, it's um, bugging me that uh, I cannot install anything yet. So anyway, if you install this one, if you run this one, what you'll see is, can we go back, 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 nope. Then you'll see that in the user, share, applications, all the icons that are now this colorful icons like Python, these two will be fixed, the HP will be fixed. So three things will be fixed and even more ones we do not see yet it happens sometimes. But anyway, the SADI icons look good. That means that um, the surfing icon will always also look good. So I'm gonna do this also. So the GitHub surfing, let's see if we find it like that. Voila, a color for icon theme for Linux desktops. Download the zip as well. We have it now. Surf and right mouse click extract here. Here. So we've downloaded Surf and Monster and then we're going to extract here. This is. 17 icons themes. Let's have a look. Ctrl H. Oh, these shortcuts when I'm in, in uh, QWERTY rather than. It happens so fast, eh? It's in your fingers. So, 
just wanted to show we have here 17 fours, meaning 17 teams. We don't need this one, we don't need those well, things to do some maintenance. Control H, I, I don't dare to, to press any shortcut anymore. That one worked. Okay. Control D, does that work? Okay, it's gonna work. Suppose I have to find here somewhere in the control center whether it's um, keyboards to get rid of my layouts and then add. And then, oh my god, Belgium! Belgium is good. And I get rid of this one and then move, close, and then hopefully that's fixed. So Surfen is here, and then let's have a look. How does Surfen look in this system? Preferences, look and feel, appearance, customize, settings. Scroll down. Now let's take a red one. Close, close. So this is Eric's home. Icons have been changed. Uh, going through, going through, going through. This is diff more difficult for me to check, as everything is colorful, and it depends. You can only see the, the old-fashioned icons from years ago, then it means that they don't use the uh, surf icon. So these hard-coded elements, they pop, pop out from time to time. You don't see them in the menus, but then you see them in a small message or something. Everything looks okay. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Like you see, you have your KDE settings. So it's five desktop settings you see at um, in one go. Eh? So if you're skipping ahead in the video, I've installed DB9, but I've installed all desktop environments at once. Not because I want to work on it, because I want to test the icons. That's the only reason I did it. But it looks ugly, of course, because all settings are mixed and we don't know what setting is what. All right. Um, Surfing has been checked. And last thing, maybe. Again, file system, user, share, applications. And it just pops into my head. There's this clip it thing. Clip it thing is this one. What you should install is Sublime Text. Um, Sublime Text has the advantage when you open it, you can save it in also in the protected parts. It's just gonna ask you the password. Uh, if I do a Kate or any of the others, I probably will not be successful. I can try anyway, because I have to show you, you have to get rid of the, the dash tray icon, and then it's gonna look great. Then it's gonna be in order, but like you see, um, that's a no-go with Kate. This one I can change, then I want to save. It says saved, but it says up here read only, voila. So I can't save it, so that's why you need to have sublime text or you have to open it with uh, GK, sudo and all that. It's so I rather have Sublime Text next to me and then just save it with, uh, when the password pops up, the, the communication will give me the password and then it's saved. So that um, can be uh, changed as well if you want to have another a better icon for Clifford. All right, that uh, covers everything. Um, for me, that's enough. Uh, so this is uh, Debian 9 and all icons are okay. Ciao.